Jay, I should have mentioned from my question on what would you do Wednesday that everybody immediately answers with, yes, of course I would wear the diaper for one week for a million dollars, but you just let that simmer for a few days. <laughs> As for Olympic spoilers, Jay, I have to say that it drives me crazy. I don't like knowing what happens ahead of time. In fact, I would probably not even watch if I already knew the outcome. To that point, last night when I was watching the Olympics, I was in the room with people who already knew the end results, and just that drove me crazy because I was trying to read them and figure out what they were doing while the event was happening so I could maybe predict what was going to happen. However, without any further ado, I don't think that it's possible for me not to talk about Gabby Douglas, at least for a second. In case you haven't watched last night, maybe close this video. Gabby last night brought in gold for the women's all-around, which is freaking awesome. Also, a cool thing that I saw posted this morning about Gabby Douglas is Douglas, if you rearrange the letters, spells USA Gold. But Jay, that's not what I want to talk to you about today. What I want to talk to you about today is comment arguments. Comment arguments, I'm sure as many of you have seen before or maybe even been a part of, are basically somebody who disagrees with your status or your post. You get into this argument back and forth over a super controversial topic, and all of these arguments, as I've watched, seem to have very similar themes and things that happen. First, everybody starts typing with perfect grammar as if they're writing their college thesis. Second, people will always try to seem objective. In doing so, they will usually concede a small point of the original poster's argument, but then go off on their own complete argument from there. Third, somebody will inevitably spell something wrong in this argument, and that will lead to them just losing all of their integrity in the argument because they spelled speech, S-P-E-A-C-H. Fourth, comes a citation of a very reputable source where you know that they had to look it up in order to make the point, and they didn't know it ahead of time. And sometimes, if you're really lucky, it'll just turn into a personal blood fest. Now Jay, I'm a little torn in these situations because one, I find it a little frustrating that I would never personally find myself in one of these arguments just because I don't really feel like it's worth it, but at the same time, I'm so glad that people do because I'm endlessly entertained by it. There are people that I'm friends with on Facebook and constantly check their profile just because I know they're so inclined to be a part of them. So Jay, my question of the day is, have you or anyone else been in one of these comment arguments? If you have, did you win? Because in my experience, it doesn't really seem like anybody ever wins. And Jay, that's all I've got for you today. Of course, I will be seeing you in just a few hours because we are heading down to Boone, North Carolina today to go cliff jumping again. I just love cliff jumping.